guys, welcome back to some more AFK Arena. Today we're on the free to play account. That is right, guys, the free to play account. And a big shout out to the guild. We do have a couple slots in here, guys. The Hippo Shack has been absolutely crazy. We had 70 of 70 active members. We had to boot two this morning because due to inactivity. Um, keeping it really cool between Javid and I. Um, really keeping it kind of pleased up. So we have seen some massive nerfs to the campaign which has really affected progression, especially if you are free to play, much easier to make progression where it is a lot more vital to really push that progression. You can see here over the past couple of weeks, we got 55,000 diamonds, guys. And this account is to the point, looking at the factions, you roughly want three to five heroes, really focusing on three to five heroes of each faction. And the big reason for this, guys, is of course, the King's Tower pushing all of those those towers, including, you know, the Brutal Citadel. Making sure you're making progression in here to pick up those Stargazer cards, because this is about the point of the accounts that you want to start stargazing. Again, having three to five of those specific faction heroes. Here we have three Ascended Heroes. Right here we have four Ascended Heroes. And the Greyborn, we do have five. So looking pretty solid when it comes to progression with the account overall and with those tower progression. Now, there are some key ones that we really want to look at, which number one is, of course, Grez. Grez is a super powerful hero, guys, especially when you start getting into the Twisted Realm. Um, he is really important to maximize your tree juice, so you continue building those out. New one that we've seen that we're going to look at today is Scarlet, guys. Scarlet is absolute crazy when it comes to, again, the Twisted Realm, the bosses in there. So there are a few heroes within these factions that are kind of more of a priority, um, kind of quicker to build because you do want to max them out. Now, when we started this account, Soros was actually the one that you wanted to build. He was the one to, to really carry you in the guild bosses. That has been replaced by Scarlet. Um, a lot of the Twisted Realm, again, has been replaced by Scarlet. Now, if you're looking to garrison heroes, so dimensional heroes, Ainz Albedo, two of the biggest, most important heroes, guys, that we have within AFK Arena, building them out as soon as you can is very important. So a lot of players ask how you garrison them. Actually, from the friends tab, garrisoned, you can see right here, I do have Ainz and Albedo garrison. When I started this account, Ainz and Albedo were already gone, so you couldn't get them short of buying them, and this one is completely free to play, guys. So we're going to go ahead, we're going to do some summons, hoping to make some progression within chapter 32. But first, we are going to get into the summons. And again, we are going to look for the light bearer. We're going to look for Scarlet. We've done this on a couple different accounts. Big reason is, guys, she is so vital, not only when it comes to the light bearer tower, but also when it comes to the guild bosses, when it comes to the Twisted Realm. Um, she is really showing a lot of dominance within a couple key areas in AFK Arena. We have also built out Lucretia. Lucretia is completely maxed out as we can see right there. Um, very powerful hero to have built. Because she's not relying on a team, you can actually build her up sooner and she is really effective, guys, when it comes to building her out. So here we do have 19 Elite Stones, hoping, hoping that we get some Celestials and some Hypogen heroes, which here we go, guys. Did we get a Thisu? So not too bad with that one overall. Let's see what we got. We got Desiro, we got another copy of Grez, which is good, double copies of Thisu, but we got Oden, which is awesome, we got Soros, we got Silas, we got Raku, we got Damon. Very solid pull there, even though there are no Celestials or Hypogen heroes, that is a phenomenal pull because a lot of those heroes we're adding stars to, and a lot of those heroes, as you see right here, um, we are building out. Like Iran, we use that combination very early. Um, Raku, super prevalent. He is one of the heroes, similar to Kren, that you want to build him out early. Um, they are really the carries when it comes to a lot of different formations. They are the primary heroes that you're going to build. When you look at, you know, again, when you look at Kren within the Maulers, when you look at um, Raku within the Wilders, even looking here at Oden within the Graveborn, Silas, Grez, do really well as carries within AFK Arena. So let's go ahead, guys. We're going to get into the summon. So Noble Tavern, we have a 1,000 of our companion points. And this is an account, again, completely free to play. We have been running this account every single day. We've been doing everything that we need to, finishing out the Arcane Labyrinth, picking up all of the events. And, of course, this is a result, guys. There's our first Elite, which is a copy of Pharrell. Very nice addition to the team right there. Pharrell is a hero that is used through all of AFK Arena, one of the original heroes, and we have seen his utility kind of grow. They did rework him a significant amount of time ago. And when he was reworked, 
again, does absolutely phenomenal being built. Boom, very last pull, we get another one, which is Tassie. Crowd control, guys, multiple forms of crowd control. She has a banish, she has a slumber. Very strong hero to build indeed. There is Scarlet, we're gonna save that. We do have some faction scrolls right here. 152 of our common scrolls. I'm hoping we can pull a copy of Taylene in here, which there's a copy of Gwen. Very nice light bearer. She, unfortunately, is one that has been kind of replaced with the addition of Maro, with the addition now of Scarlet. Um, her damage is not really a, a big necessity when it comes to the light bearer tower anymore. Um, and she also runs kind of hand in hand when it comes to running with Rose. Rose and Scarlet are making an absolute crazy damage combination team, which I absolutely love to see. So a couple more rare cards right there. I want to see again an Awakened Taylene in here. Would be very cool to see. Another elite, which is Brutus. Guys, Brutus is another hero he has used in a lot of stages because of the immunity. If you guys are not familiar, guys, immunity wins AFK Arena. Another copy of Brutus right there. His immunity can hold off heroes long enough to allow a lot of alts. We've seen him in five pole. We've seen him in a different, couple different burst combinations. And another single right there, which gives us another copy of Desira. Silas, I'm trying to max out. We already have, I believe is plus 30 signature item. We also do have furniture pulls on here as well. Another elite getting a lot of singles there and it's Brutus. We are three for three for Brutus. Not seeing any copies of Scarlet yet. It seems like across all of the accounts, um, been very unfortunate with Scarlet. I really haven't seen any of the pulls, even the specific faction cards, even the faction pulls, not seeing many copies of Scarlet. There is our last one, guys. Copy of Rosaline right there. She's in the wish list. She's in the very first spot. Um, a lot of people question that sometimes. There's a copy of Walker, and I'm hoping it's going to be a Scarlet unlock. It is Hendrick. Hendrick and Scarlet seem like a pretty good combination as well. Um, so Hendrick can actually keep her alive. There is another copy of Gwen. Elites back to back, which is another copy. Gwen and Brutus today, guys. Been a significant amount of pulls with them. But we're going to have a lot of light bearer fodder. And another copy of Gwen. Wow. And a double, guys. Can it be Scarlet? Double Morrow on that pull. Has crowd control, has damage. It seems like Scarlet is just kind of eclipsing him is what I've noticed. You know, Morrow came out. He was a pretty good. Um, a lot of players did pick him up and build him. And then they dropped Scarlet. And a lot of players just kind of forgot about Morrow. And a final elite right there, which is a copy of Rain. One more card. Can it be Scarlet? It is... A copy of Oulard. So again, guys, completely shut out. We have three desired hero summons, which we're going to go ahead and use on here. Want to pick up some copies of her. And the rest of it is going to go on the Stargazer. So there is our very first one, guys. So that would actually be the unlock. Doesn't give us the unlock because it, we do have the trial version of her. And this will be one, two, three. So another one. Just got one final copy to pull. And I'm hoping it's not going to be three more pulls. Burning through a lot of diamonds. Again, very difficult to pick up copies of Scarlet. Ever since we've started, so we're not even going to have her enough to build up a little bit because we just have the three solitary copies that we got. There's the final one, guys. So three, so we have two more weeks and that will actually reset, giving us 31,000 diamonds left. We're going to look for Alna. We built up the twins a little bit. Um, we already have Mortis. Lucretia is maxed out. We have 10 cards. 31,000 diamonds. So I'm hoping we can get some copies. And first one, guys, gives us a copy of Alna. Very lucky with that very first pull there. A second copy. Boom, that's already two down. Four more pulls in here. Got some more resources. Dur Duras Fragments, definitely building those up. There's one Graveborn card. A Mauler card on that one. And our final pull, guys, gives us another copy. Very nice. That is some really solid RNG. Temple of Time, 157. Um, I'm gonna go ahead and build Taylene just because I can use her for a couple different places. Um, really need her for the Celestial Tower. That, that's kind of the spot where we're missing right now. 
So I'm hoping that we can get one or two copies. I would love to pick up two copies of her in here. And hopefully it's not just gonna be a lot of resources, but we did get some red chess out of there. And again, not seeing too many copies. There we go, guys. So there is another copy. That gives us, I believe, two in total. Getting quite a few of those faction cards I'm seeing. But overall, guys, super disappointing on the polls here. But these are about the normal rates. There's another copy. Love to see some back-to-back -back copies. And there we go, guys. That is a back-to-back -back copy. Maybe three in a row. Nope, no such luck. Definitely got a lot of resources in there. Seven more. So we're just going to save those. See what we can do. But that gives us a couple copies of Ulna, which I absolutely love to see, guys. So we can add a few more stars here. I'm going to have to go through, fine-tune some of these heroes, add some stars. Um, now that we have a few copies, add a little bit of food. So we can build out heroes like Rose. I'm saving some for Scarlet. And here, same, we have a lot of copies of Brutus. We have quite a bit of food. Entendre was still looking for a couple more. And here we have Lorazin. We are building out Mishka as well as a few others. Oden, we can definitely build out here because we do have finally a little bit of food to continue building out. So we have some copies here of Taylene. So bringing her up to Legendary Plus. Then, of course, we don't have any more to build her up any further. But we did pick up those couple copies of Alna, which takes her to Legendary and Legendary Plus for Alna as well. So no Celestials or Hypogen, so got kind of shut down on there. You can see most of the dimensionals we have. Baba Yaga should be up tomorrow. Um, you know, looking at statistically, she, she should be up tomorrow. So we're going to go through. We're going to use all of these resources and then get into some furniture summons, guys. So we have quite a few here. There's another copy of Grez. Love to see that. Copy of Verk and Kasos. A few more, and I'm hoping this is going to be Scarlet. Falks and Hendrix again. So disappointed overall with all of those cards, guys, to get one single copy of her. Just completely shut us down. That does add another star to Grez. Building him out quite a bit as we continue the engraving. So looking here at the Oaken, guys, 128,000. That is right, Poke Coins. Free to play account. Absolutely crazy. Um... I like the Albedo in here. We already have Ions. We already have Lucretia maxed out. Um, Oden, we're definitely going to be building. We'll just continue with what we have. Cards on the table because we cannot get the duplicate cards anymore. Um, look at that, guys. A double pull there. Albedo and Iran. Love seeing that one. The cards, like I was saying, from the table, we cannot duplicate. There's a piece for Kren. So even using them to get the three piece or the nine piece um, doesn't really make a difference. You'll get it over time. When you have heroes like Albedo that really require the three piece to be on there, I would even recommend using it to get her to three um, if you're not saving to get someone to nine of nine. You'll get the pulls eventually It is kind of what I'm saying. There's a piece for Oden. Definitely need to use some food to build him out a little bit. Another piece for Oden. Getting really lucky with his furniture today. Another pull right there, which gives us a piece for Damon. He is almost completely done as well. Loving the progression we're making on the free-to-play account. And there's a piece for Merlin. Let's go. We have four cards on the table. We'll go ahead and equip some of these up. I know Eron's probably not the biggest priority to max out right now, but... I have utilized him, and I do use him a lot. I know he's used in the five pole, used in a couple different ones, which reminds me, I think we need some furniture for Skaras. So we have Tassie in here. We have Oden. We have a lot of random furniture in here, a lot for Tassie. I'm going to have to put Skarath in here. We're going to have to pull in Skarath if we're going to do the five pole, which I don't even think I have. I don't even think I've... I pulled a copy of Scarath yet. Let me do this before I forget, guys. Making sure the wish list, he is not in here. That's why. So we don't even have Scarath. 
Scarath, we're gonna have to build up. We're gonna have to pull some furniture for him. Again, making sure guys that you have the priority when it comes to the wish list and when it comes to heroes. Got a lot of copies of Brutus, but still missing the five pull for Scarath. That's okay though. We can always fix mistakes in AFK Arena, guys. If you don't have a particular hero, desired hero summons, things of that nature, pretty easy to change a lot of the heroes as you need them or as you see fit. And there's another piece for Eron, and he is almost completely maxed out. Piece right there for Kren. Love building him out, guys. Such a solid carry within the Mauler Tower. Another piece for Damon, which that might max him out. We have five cards there. He needs one. So let's actually take him. So Damon needs one. We're going to go ahead and use one for him. There we go. So that will completely max him out. The reason I did that was I want to drop him out of the wish list and giving us a slot to drop Scarath in there. Scarath I can actually build pretty quick, which we know three of nine furniture for him. Um, similar to Zorath, similar to a couple other heroes, they do not work without the furniture. If Scarath doesn't have that three of nine, um, he does not work, does not work for the five pole at all, which there's a piece, guys, that's one for Scarath right there. Uh, similar to Zorath, Zorath's ability for the three of nine furniture. If he doesn't have the furniture, he doesn't work. Same can be said true with Albedo, which there's a double, guys. Eron and a copy for Arthur. And there we go. That gives Arthur his three, which I love to see. Eron is almost completely maxed out. Just need a couple more pieces here. Five cards on the table, which again, I'm, I'm thinking I'm just going to save those right now. And a double again, guys. Eron and Merlin. Which gives Merlin his three-piece. I think we still need to unlock another piece of his room. And then Eron is almost completely maxed out. Still need two more for Graz, and that'll be maxed out. So I'm hoping we can pull one more out of here. But saving a few. So I'm going to go ahead and I'm going to max out Graz. And you can use two cards together. Notice we will use two cards. There we go. So that takes him to the nine of nine, so we can drop him out of here as well. So Grez drops out, he is maxed out, which is good. Pharrell's already got some pieces, uh, Lucretia's already got some pieces. Raku we can drop in here. Really strong hero, we already have one for Scarath. Then the rest of them, we have one, we can drop one more on Eron. Again, I know he's not a huge priority to max out, um, just like we did but he was one of the very first heroes and one of the very first ones that we built on this account. The Eron like a combination, such a very strong combination. So we're gonna drop him out. We already have Leica in there. So since we know Scarlet is gonna be a focus, her nine of nine is just absolutely crazy. Same with Oden, um, very strong build overall with both of them. So we'll recycle what we're not using. There we go, so we got three more pulls. Another piece right there with Scarath. That gives him his two of nine already. So we'll go ahead. We'll do our final equip right here. Got three cards on the table. Nothing has changed. We'll recycle what we're not using. Guys, and that's 120,000 po coins just like that. So definitely have a lot of levels to, to go and a lot of cleanup to do for this account. Probably can gain quite a bit of levels. Um, even looking here, 376 is what the enemy is at. I'm at 338, so we can definitely make some progression. So I'm going to pause right here, and we're going to, um, I'm actually going to just end the video right here. I'm thinking just because I don't want it to be so long. We're going to record some progression in here. Chapter 32, free to play on this account. I absolutely love the free to play. This is the only one strictly short of the test server that is completely 100% free to play, but we can make some solid progression in here, especially with the nerfs that we've seen with the levels. So guys, let me know in the comments what you guys think. Very cool to see the teams that we are building out here. We got a couple other heroes to max out. Definitely priority focus on heroes like Raku and Scarlet, maxing them heroes, those heroes out as well. So again, guys, let me know in the comments what you guys think. And as always, thank you guys for watching.